Hi, it's Patsy. And in the background, our newest member of the family, I don't know if you can see him sitting there in his cage. That's Casper, is the new family member. He is an African Grey that I um, took on a couple of weeks ago. Somebody was trying to find someone to rehome him because um, she couldn't cope with, with him. She, um, she was scared of him. So I've took him in. So he looks like he's asleep at the minute, but there's no telling. He may awake and start letting himself be heard. So if he does, just be prepared. But usually this time of morning, he normally sleeps for a little while. So I should be okay. So the reason I'm on today, it's been a little while again. I tend to go through these phases of not doing any uploading. And that's really because I've got myself into this... Um, but I suppose I'm I'm struggling with depression. I'm trying to come out of depression, and everything that's gone on in these last couple of years, or you know, is really taking its toll on me, health wise and other things. So um, I've not really known what to upload or um, felt like uploading. I'm not really doing too much, but I'm trying to drag myself out of it all and kind of get myself back onto even footing. And I'd found that one of the main areas that I really need to work on is my inner child, hence this video and the healing, the inner child wound. Um, I won't go into too much detail because, you know, it's um, my mum's still alive. She's very poorly. She has dementia and she has cancer. And we know that we won't have her here um, for much longer. So I kind of feel that um, I have to respect her. Um, so I, I, do, I don't tend to give too much away about um, that childhood. What I, I can say is that it was a childhood that um, I wasn't loved. I was told I wasn't loved. I was told on many occasions that I... Um, should have been given away that while they had the chance because I ruined their lives that it was my fault they had to get married mum was a teenager when she had me she was just 16 nearly 17 um, they married when I was about 18 months old um, I think he felt trapped into marriage he didn't want it um, she felt like um, her life was always um was taken away from i suppose you know those years where you get out and about and you, you go partying and you meet people and whatever she didn't get that chance because she went from living at home with a family to a marriage um looking after children and she felt like she didn't have a life and i can i can understand that but at the same time that's not the fault of the child um, yeah, I was always told that it was my fault. Um, if it wasn't for me, they wouldn't have had to have got married. And it wasn't just mum, it came from him too. So it was a childhood where I, I spent as much time out of the house as I could. Um, I spent most of my childhood, as well, as much as I could anyway, at my maternal grandmother's home. And... Um, even as an adult growing in, you know, into teenagers and adulthood, um, I wasn't included in um, family holidays, family get togethers, all that sort of thing. I have a younger brother and sister um, and me and my older brother um, was treated very different to today was. Um, I lost the only um, person that understood where you know what I was going through my brother um, he died at the age of 25 so I kind of lost that one family member who um, was my close ally so that's as much as I'm going to say about that and then to find out a year ago that I wasn't even the daughter of the, the man who brought me up that he wasn't my biological father, it, it hard, because I was always told he was, and I could never understand why I wasn't loved as much as he loved his other children. Um, 
and the same with mum. She, she she put all, all of her mothering, if you want, um, into the younger two, but as, and to my older brother because they had a very good connection. They were very strong together. Um, <coughs> but to then find out that it, none of it was my fault because um, he wasn't my biological father anyway, and that there was a lie from her that created this path. Um, she probably, in all honesty, she probably thought that he was, but she must have also known there was a possibility that he wasn't the father. Um, but she went through with that. I suppose that was the easiest way, the easiest route. He married her. And they spent 40 odd years together. Um, it was a, a, a marriage of um, ups and downs, like most marriages. But when it was bad, it was bad. And the children was caught up in it. So it left a lot of scars um, going into um, adulthood. Um, but I always tried to make excuses for them when she was a teenager. Um, you know, maybe he did feel trapped, maybe um, he did feel like his life had been ruined and all the rest of it. So I kind of always tried to keep their, what they must have been going through in the back of my mind. I thought to myself, well, you know, you must be unlovable. There's a reason why they love the other children and not you. Um, and I went from... I left home as soon as I could. I, I wanted to get out as soon as I could because I just didn't want to be in this this um, atmosphere. But I kind of stumbled from one relationship to another um, and into relationships where I never felt like I was worth anything. I never particularly felt loved. Um, and that has been like a um, signature all through my, my adult life. I've kind of just accepted what I've been given um, not questioned it, not really um, put, put much thought into it because I've just thought, well, you know, this is what you deserve. And when I look back, I probably haven't been the most open, warmest person. I've never been shown love. I, I find it very difficult to express it, um, even with my children. And that, this is something that I, I do realise that I did. And my ch me and my grown-up children, we do speak and they're quite aware of what I went through and what I'm going through. And they, they, you know, they know that I have this standoffish nature, I suppose, not because I don't love them, because they know I do, but because I just don't know how to express that. So um, I was never shown it, so trying to express it is very difficult because when I did try to express it as a child, I was always told to stop being stupid and get away. I was too old to have cuddles. I was, too, And this was when I was about nine years old. So this has always been something that has been pretty um, prevalent in my life. And I think it's really come to the fore in the last year when I found out that actually he wasn't my biological father, that I did, didn't belong to him. There was no blood there. Um, so a lot of things fell into place. I don't think he ever knew. He probably had ideas, you know, probably questioned it. But I look so much like my mum that um, it wasn't as obvious. I look nothing like my younger brother and sister. I looked like my older brother. I didn't look like my younger brother and sister. There was no, no similarities really there in personality or looks. Um, so maybe, you know, he probably had an idea, I don't know, but he never, he never, he never voiced it. Um, when I found out, I did bring it up with my mum, but by that time she'd already got dementia and she just point blank refused to um, even acknowledge it. I think she'd lived this life for 50 odd years um, that she wouldn't even entertain the idea and I would never get answers, do you know what I mean? So this comes to this deck that's really been helping me these last um, few weeks. I've, I got it a few weeks back. My daughter bought it actually. And it's been really helpful for me. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Take a drop of tea. My mouth's gone dry. 
<clears throat> and it's this this oracle here the inner child oracle it's a 44 card deck and guidebook to heal your past and embrace your, your present and it's by amanda lynn aislin it's by hay house and it says on the back the inner child oracle is a powerful tool for seekers of deep healing and spiritual realignment each of the 44 cards is infused with the energy and wisdom needed to address past wounds and begin to the process of self-renewal while the guidebook includes exercises and journal prompts to help your healing work featuring unique messages and beautiful artwork this deck offers a safe and supportive space to explore and heal your inner child let this oracle deck support you on your journey to wholeness and peace now it's in a two box two you know the lid just got pops off like that that is the book that you get there's no um pictures inside it's just you know just text um and there's a couple of spreads there i haven't really done the spreads there is a uh, contents at the front i haven't really done the spreads for the reason i'll show you all in a minute that's the inside of the box <clears throat> so that's the backs gorgeous backs so it's not going to be in order because like i said i have been using this so this is says speak to yourself with kindness become aware of how you speak to yourself and that is something that i do have to listen to because i don't speak to myself very well uh, find your haven there is a place of wonder just waiting just for you now, I love these images. You can get lost in these images. Accept what is. The act of acceptance will bring peace. Spend time in nature. Let the beauty of nature refresh your soul. Practice freedom. Release the weight of judgment. Connect to eternity within. Let yourself be held by love. You are enough. You do not have to give more. This one really resonates and it comes up quite a bit for me. Say yes. Now is the time to be open and receive. Choose yourself today. Do not deny your importance. Let it go. Let go of all that no longer serves you. Become aware, listen to the wisdom of your body. Let it come forth, give yourself permission to feel it. And this is probably something that I've never allowed. I've never allowed myself to feel those emotions I felt as a child. Be true to who you are. Fear will not stop you from shining. Breathe in, practice breath work today. Be present. Find clarity in the moment. It is time to celebrate, cultivate an air of celebration today. You can do hard things. It is not impossible as it may feel. Write a letter. Write a letter to your inner child. Be still. Cultivate a space of stillness and silence to just be. You are worthy. You are worth it all, my love. That's another one that hits pretty much home. I'll leave that one out and I'll read the book for that one. Um, review your responsibilities and all responsibilities are ours to hold. And that's, you know, that is something I have to realise that I'm not responsible for their marriage. Let go of the past. It's time to envision a new story. Today is the day. It is time to begin the journey. A time to remember. Look back on your childhood. Flow with the rhythm. Get lost in the rhythm of movement today. Do what you need to do. It may be difficult, but now is the time. Run wild. Let your inner child world, wild run, child run free. It is never truly the end. Beloved, in this, everything will be okay. There is hope ahead. Have courage and take heart for there is hope. 
you know the way, trust your intuition on this journey. Emotions are the reflection, look for the deeper meaning. Disappointment is not the end, there is hope even in the darkest of nights. You do not have to go it alone, reach out for support at this time. That's something I'm not good at. Set boundaries, claim your power and know your value today. That's another thing I'm not good at. Get lost, fall deep into the realm of imagination. Let love guide you, choose to see the good in the world today. Listen, your inner child has something to say. You are wanted. There is a home waiting within. This card really got to me as well because I never felt like I had a home. I was always told this isn't your home. This is somewhere you lodge till you're old enough to leave. Go inward. It's time to connect with your inner child. It is okay to be misunderstood. Perception is not always based on the truth. Pull yourself close. Every part of your being is deserving of love. You deserve to be seen. Let yourself be known. Go on an adventure. Today is the day to try something daring. And then the last one is seek guidance in this. It is time for a different perspective. And I have um, contacted uh, mental health services again. I have used them pretty much on and off throughout my adult life. But I do think it's time for me to, um, to speak to somebody again. And I am on the list, but who knows when the list is going to be my turn. So we'll go to the book and I'll just kind of show you what you get for these cards. Um, this one is um, the You Are Worthy. Um, it says, everyone longs to be worthy. We work hard to find the worth in many different places, in accomplishments, in titles, in the eyes of others. But at the end of the day, all we truly have is the worth that we attribute to ourselves. This is not to diminish the beautiful gifts that can be ours through our actions and relationships, but to say that if we do not find ourselves worthy first, we will continue to search for it elsewhere and never find satisfaction. And that's something that I really struggled with because I was told I wasn't worthy of anything, that I've always kind of felt that I'm not worthy of anything good either. So then it gives you an exercise of acceptance and then the responsive journaling prompt. And that's what I kind of liked. It gives you this journaling prompt. So I've been getting a card a day. I've been shuffling and um, what I need to, to uh, work with that day. And um, then I journal. I'll use the prompts, but then I'll use a tarot tool. So... Um, find answers and ways that I can get myself out of this mindset and what or what have you um, by using the tarot as well and then I journal that so at the minute that is a lot of my only um, work that I am doing um, on a regular basis so I'm, I'm doing a couple of other things but mainly I'm, I'm trying to concentrate on getting through this um, inner child work um, to try and find some kind of um, how can I put it some kind of peace with my past and the way that it's affected me and try to to um, change the way that I think and feel about myself and the way that I I look at and, and treat other people as well I suppose so it's um, it's a hard journey um, and I'm, I'm doing it alone because that's another thing. Um, when you live where I live um, and there's there's no, no really help out this way at all. Um, but then I've always done things myself. So it sort of, it goes with me, I suppose. But yeah, so that's where I've been, what I've been doing. And I found this article really helpful. Um, I know that there is spreads and that out there that you can do within a work, but I actually like this because the card, the novel card, will give me the focus point to work on a particular thing. So yeah, so if you got this oracle, you'll have to let me know. Um, I'm sorry, it's been a bit of a ramble, um, but I will be back when I got something to say. Um, take care and thank you. Bye.